So now we are back for more of some of my favorite content on the internet. His name is Casually Explained. Dude is over a million now on YouTube. When I did my first reaction to this guy, he had nowhere near this amount of subscribers. And now his views are finally catching up to his subs, which makes me happy because people are finally finding the man. I've enjoyed his content for a long time. And, um, you know, I saw him when he only had like three videos up on YouTube. It took me a while before I actually watched the video. I just didn't really understand what his content was. And after I got the first dose of it, uh, I've been addicted ever since. Just like You Suck at Cooking. If you guys have never seen that, the, the channel is just, just fantastic. So, um... This one is The Solar System. Make sure you guys check it out. The link in the description down below. Sub to this guy's channel for sure. And uh, this dude's awesome. So let's get into it, man. First stop in our journey is of course the star at the center of our solar system, the sun. All stars are cool, huge dude. spheres of hydrogen and helium that are constantly undergoing fusion reaction. This process creates a tremendous amount of heat and our sun is over 5,000 degrees Celsius at its surface and 15 million degrees at its core. In addition, the sun of course produces a tremendous amount of light which travels at 300,000 kilometers a second. Light does not speed up or slow down, it's always the same speed. The reason for this is that light itself has no mass, which is why it's called light. Yeah. Going outward, the closest planet to the sun <laughs> yeah. is Mercury, named after the Greek god of the same name. It isn't the most interesting planet, we've often thought about giving it a bit of a nudge. Moving on, the second no! planet is Venus. Venus is better known as Earth's sister planet as it's almost identical in shape and size, but is way hotter. Ooh. Earth is of course the third from the sun and our home planet. It's the only planet that we know of that supports life, although it doesn't actively encourage it. <laughs> Astronauts have never ventured far beyond our orbit, and today our flagship station is located just 400 kilometers above Earth's surface. Known as the International Space Station, this is the farthest into space that humans are permanently established. Astronauts are typically situated here for up to a year at a time, where they're allowed to perform cool experiments until their bones disintegrate and they must return home. <laughs> Mars, That's our second nearest it. planetary neighbor and homeworld of Elon Musk, is not the most happy, Elon Musk. but it is the closest thing we have to Earth. After sending Wally to check it out in 2012, NASA is currently working to send a manned mission into Martian orbit and eventually set up a colony in the next 50 to 100 years. In between Mars and Jupiter is the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt holds many resources, and after expanding nearby, we might be able to mine them for minerals and Vespine gas oh, yeah. that we can oh. use back here on Earth. I'm sure. I'm sure we will definitely be able to do that. Totally not a video game Jupiter, reference. also known as Thick Saturn, is a lot like Yo Thick Saturn! Because despite having thick. to constantly withstand a very turbulent environment, it works tirelessly to provide a stable home for more <clears> orbiting <throat> bodies than any other planet and it weighs over 20 quadrillion tons. <laughs> Saturn is by far the best looking planet in the solar system and is always in your face about it. If you have it as your wallpaper right now, you should put something else, it doesn't need the attention. Ooh. Okay, the next planet is Uranus, and of course, we all went to school, we all know the joke, so really, I just wanna say, I think it's unfair that Uranus is given such a hard time, just because it's so easy <laughs> to make fun of. So, no jokes in the comments, because I will not hesitate to report anyone who tries to slide one in unannounced. The next on our trip is Neptune. This planet is the final gas giant and is notable for having an elliptical orbit, which means once every few hundred years it goes from the eighth planet in the solar system to the eighth. Speaking of which brings us to the eighth and final planet. Eighth. Neptune is of course the coldest and smallest planet in the solar system, and it's kind of like the runt of the litter that we all welcomed with open arms. Well, Neptune was not the most spectacular planet, we still treat it as that was family, not. Okay. and I'm sure we always will. All right, the solar system is my city. <laughs> Yo, again, dude, another freaking good video, dude. I like, I like how these, he definitely makes these videos where like it's easy for you to rewatch, it's easy to share, like it's easy to enjoy. I freaking love this guy's channel. Dude. I also like the little hands and faces on the solar system. But that's the solar system in a nutshell. The next one I want to check out from his channel is called Video Games because that is where my addiction lies the most. Chavez Slovakia, make sure you leave a like on his video, go subscribe to the dude, check him out. I will see you guys in the next one, Chavez Slovakia. Peace out, y'all.